Hey guys and welcome back to another video, more specifically a race review. And today we're going back to the 1988 Olympic Games in Seoul, South Korea. Now this was a big breakout performance from a phenomenal young swimmer and someone who would be very dominant on the backstroke races for years to come. Now, before we actually get into the race review, I'm super excited to say I'm bringing you guys a giveaway of both a men's and women's Arena Carbon Core FX tech suit on my Instagram page. So go over to my Instagram at the swimsuit guy 95 and you can sign up to take part in that giveaway if you haven't already. <music> Without further ado, let's jump into this video. So this is the oldest race I've yet to take a look at. Two years before the awesome 53 showdown between Matt Biondi and Tom Yeager that I looked at in the past. The big story here was that we had some very fast women, especially these East Germans. They, uh, they, they caused quite the scene back then because there was a lot of doping done by the Eastern Germans. The world record holder at the time was an American woman who chose to only swim the 100 at this meet. And that really set everything up nicely for this young Hungarian girl, Christina Egerzegi, who was just 14 years old. And these are 14 days old. She was just 14 years old. And um, very, very weirdly, she, um, she had quite a short hair, haircut, as you can see there. But she opted not to wear a swimming hat, which even... Guys with that long hair would generally wear a swimming hat or even much shorter hair. So it's weird that she opted not to wear a swimming hat. Obviously, there was no knee skins going on back in 88. Everyone's just rocking a fairly old school costume. The world record back then was 208.6. So 5.3 seconds adrift of what the current world record is. And the, 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 the Olympic record was 210 which is six seconds off of Missy Franklin's from 2012 when she went the at the time world record, which was more recently broken at last year's world championships in Guangzhou by Regan Smith. The young 14-year-old goes in lane five. She went on to have quite the extraordinary career. She won three Olympic golds in just the 200 backstroke. She also in the 92 Olympics, the Olympics following this, took three individual golds in the 100 back, 200 back, and the 400 IM, which just shows by being an extremely versatile swimmer and being able to be capable in a 400 IM, you, you generally are a good swimmer, and you can do the 100 and the 200, and I think that shows a lot. And I, I, I love this. Look, look how far people were swimming back then when they used to jump in. So you saw a lot of people diving in, and all of them are like, they're practicing their turns over there in the top lane. They're practicing their finishes, but generally nowadays we, we see a guy do a couple of strokes back into the wall if they jump very far. Some don't do anything. These guys are almost swimming 15 meters, like a little warm up. And here we have, I mean, the starts. They look all right, but they're very basic compared to what we have today. And other than Christina Egazegi, the, the, the tiny little thing in lane five there, not really anyone utilizing any sort of underwater. And this, this girl's tiny, she's five foot two at the time, didn't even weigh a hundred pounds. So um, it was like under 45 kilos, which is not that surprising for a 14 year old girl. And between her and the girl, the German in the lane above her, they're, they're pretty neck and neck. And you'll enjoy this. So I don't know if you clocked it too well there, but back then they, they did a, almost like a back to breast turn we do nowadays. They touch on their back and they, they do a, side or back somersault um, instead of being allowed to do one stroke on their front and they actually have to touch the wall um, so obviously backstroke events were much slower there and um, actually if you look at the, the two middle swimmers here it's clear that Christina is the faster of the two swimmers um, but very much gets dominated on the turns here they, they touch almost neck and neck and Christina has a very, very slow, very long leg sort of lope over and she also pushes straight through the surface and, and loses, you know, almost half her body length. And this is why, you know, even if you're not a very good underwater kicker, you should push off under the water, hold your body tension and body line for a, for a, for a brief amount of time before then driving up to the surface. Obviously, if you can do fly kicks, um, utilize them. And she has a lovely rotation from her, from her shoulders, but her head sits very high. She's got her, her head tucked up. Oh, look at these turns. They're absolutely hilarious. Um, oh, 
God, I'm so glad they changed that rule. But yeah, lovely rotation from her shoulders, getting getting her getting her armpits right out there, um, entering perfectly shoulder whip. She's completely blown the field away now. I don't know why I've not been saying this, but yeah, has her head sitting very high, and them them goggles look absolutely tragic. They look like something you can get in a uh, a, a beach or pier shop down down the beach sort of thing. Um, but she's absolutely flown away from these other girls. It's a new Olympic record in 209.2. Just 14 years of age, she wins her first Olympic gold to go with the silver she won in the 100 back. And yes, yeah, she went on to win the, the, the Olympic gold in 92 and 96, five Olympic golds in her individual career. And weirdly, she... She, outside of winning the 100 back at the 92 Olympics, she, she didn't really swim many many major meets after 92 in the 100 back, even though she would regularly swim the medley relay in a time that was much quicker than what what the winning time would be. In some cases, I think at one European Championship, she went 60 point in the in the relay and 62.5 won the individual. It's just madness. So I don't know why she never swam it. She even swam the 200 fly at one European Championships and won that. So a very capable swimmer. And, you know, why I say to everyone, you shouldn't try and be a, a specialist. You should try and be good at swimming. And she was clearly good at swimming, you know, Olympic champion in the 400 IM, European champion in the 200 fly, clearly an Olympic champion in the 200 back. It's going 209. And like, you could say there's some, been some great young swimmers over the, over the years who are sort of physically empowered over their competitors. But she's very much still a child and just very clearly technically amazing and that's why she was so fast um, but I think this is a really cool swim just through the lap you know I can't say the last time I saw a woman racing without a hat on these old school backstroke turns the lack of knee skins the lack of underwater in a backstroke race and the the uh, sort of start of an absolutely legendary career in in the swimming pool um, here with Christina Egazegi. And retiring at such a young age of 22, you know, some people's careers don't even kick off till then or much later. And she had won five Olympic golds by 22 and decided to quit a day. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any other races I should take a look at. And as I said, please, could you check out the giveaway I'm doing? I'm really happy to be able to you know, give back to you guys for supporting me. So check out my Instagram at the swimsuit guy 95 to take part in that giveaway. Please, could you subscribe to the channel as well? I'm really, really, you know, trying to build this up as much as I can. So it'd mean a lot if you could subscribe if you don't already. And as always, hit the like button so that the YouTube algorithms can send this out to more people. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.